This low-end budget laptop is actively mining, slowly crunching away, making Bitcoin. How much Bitcoin can this thing produce in a day or a month? We're about to find out. I'm also going to quickly take you through the steps you can take to get up and mining on your own laptop as well. Now, this particular laptop sits on a table at my office, not being used about 95% of the time. The first thing I think about when I hear unused computer is, can I mine with it? The first thing I think about when I hear at the office is free electricity. Now, this laptop is certainly nothing special. It's an Acer Aspire 5, which is a popular series of budget laptops you can find it at places like Amazon and Walmart. It was cheap and it was certainly never meant to be mined on. Looking under system in the start menu, we can see it's got an i5-8265U processor. This is an 8th gen mobile CPU with 4 cores, 8 threads, which is actually a bit better than I was expecting. Looking at the device manager, we can see that the display adapter is an integrated Intel UHD solution. So that means no GPU mining on this machine, and we're going to be stuck just using the CPU. Now to get this machine up and running as quickly and as painlessly as possible, we're going to be using a Bitcoin proxy mining service called NiceHash. NiceHash is a free service that will do a few things for us. It will install the mining software on the machine. It will actively mine a CPU mineable crypto, most likely Monero. It will then automatically sell the Monero for Bitcoin and then pay us in Bitcoin. Pull up a browser and go to nicehash.com. At the home page, we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom, click on miners and tools. We're looking for this first one called NiceHash Miner. Now know that. Right click and open that. Hit agree. Now we wanna read this warning says minor software is recognized as malicious by antivirus software. Use it at your own risk. Whitelist this path right here to ensure binaries don't get deleted. Now, if you're using the built-in Windows Defender, this will occasionally start getting flagged. Put in an exclusion for this particular path so that Windows Defender will ignore that particular folder when doing its scans. To whitelist this folder in Windows Defender, hit the Windows key or go to search. Type in antivirus, virus and threat protection, open. Manage settings. Add or remove exclusions. Add an exclusion for the folder. Now app data folder is a hidden folder. If you can't see it, you're gonna have to Enable hidden folders. Go to search, type in control panel, appearance and personalization, show hidden files and folders. Make sure that this is clicked here, show hidden files, folders and drives. Click OK, close that. Now you should see it. Now the folder exclusion is added. Close this, hit finish. I'm gonna turn on dark mode, much better. If you don't already have a NiceHash account, you're gonna to wanna to hit register a new account. I already have a NiceHash account, so I'm gonna enter the address manually. You're gonna to wanna to hit I accept on any of the miners that pop up for you. Now just hit the big red start mining button. The program is going to take a couple minutes to do benchmarking. So that's all there is to it. We are up and mining. Now, how much did we make after mining away on this budget laptop for 24 hours? This machine made a total of 1.41 bits or 141 sats. Assuming Bitcoin being at 50 grand USD, that's just over seven cents a day. Now, if you have any questions about mining with NiceHash, mining on a laptop, CPUs, profitability, anything like that, please feel free to leave a comment. And thanks so much for watching.